game rice cube article home all that good shit got a video for y'all today man this is something i just want to talk about i'm gonna use this as an example of basically why you should never be insecure i say insecure insecure and never back down from competition especially if you want to coming up and you know you got a good thing going on don't worry about the majority at all because the majority is the majority for a reason they got there for a reason you know this is a saints row video on what this shit is the real uh how the term gta clone ruined a top tier game a top tier game like saints row for it and it's, now i haven't spoke on the new reboot of saints row 2022 yet main reason because i haven't played the game and that's obviously uh because the game all the reviews is trash the trailer was trash i didn't even want to talk about the trailer i just knew like if if, if Voli ever since volition really left thq thq was already like kind of like off the rails with that saints world the third shit but ever since deep silver got involved in saints world 4 and the story just got to where it got to man and then you got coach media and then you got like all that man i just knew that volition really had no in control anymore and once you got no in control no matter what i did is being pushed to you by the fans the mass majority of the fans it literally does not matter anymore you know all this vocalization it means nothing you know what i'm saying to people who can't even do what like they want to do never mind what we want them to do they can't do what they want to do so how the hell was they supposed to make a good game you know but i'm talking about say like before that you know before it even got to this point back when they was before thq went bankrupt and and all that shit you know before all that you know and and and, and when saints were one and two was that they like peak they little peak that they had and it was still being compared to gta now a thing that pisses me off is that i'm i'm a gamer that i've never been held down to one game series i don't care i'm just like with consoles i don't care about being a, a, i'm a huge gta fan so i'm only gonna play gta's over any other open world sandbox games you know what i'm saying that makes me not want to play saints Row, true crime uh uh shit they was even calling yakuza gta clones sleeping dogs i don't give a fuck about none of that i'm gonna be playing all these games because they all got something that make them special so that that was never a thing that i cared about you know you got some people some retards out there that is just like oh oh gta only uh, because it was the first, even though it really wasn't. You know, Driver was doing shit before J Driver Two was doing shit before GTA Three came out, and it was sort of the same thing. G GTA Three just perfected it, perfected the uh, what can you the recipe? I guess you could say. But and then you know they just kept going. But <clears throat> same Ray House Saints Row kind, the early Saints Row was kind of perfected the GTA San Andreas recipe, you know. GTA San Andreas, I mean, GTA, Saints Row is really not a GTA clone. You know, it's not like it's more. It's mostly like the first Saints Row. It's mostly like, uh, what, how could I put this? It's mostly like, um, it's it borrows the gangster element from San Andreas and then just like it like expands on that. You know, it don't it don't like GTA Three is just basically like the Sopranos. You know, if we want to start, if we want to talk about clones and references, we, references, we could talk about how the early GTAs, the, the the popular ones on the PS2, how they just was taken from big movies, Scarface, Vice City, uh, San Andreas, every every nineties hood movie, Menace to Society, uh, Boys in the Hood. All right, come on now. I already talked about uh GTA Three, Goodfellas, The Sopranos. They even had a um, is it Goodfellas or Badfellas? I think it's good fellas and then bad fellas was the poster that gta3 had in their game come on man so all this shit about oh man who's copying who uh, man gta been doing that shit since the beginning bro since they needed their inspiration from something else you know saints row was just more like they just don't give a fuck about like t letting you know that they represent other people man especially games like three and four when they just <laughs> let basically not even hiding it no more they letting it be known but um yeah the, the the clone shit never makes sense because everybody was taken from everybody and so basically let, let let's just go into this early ign review this shit is 11 years ago i know this was way after this game came out 
I think. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and listen to what this clown has to say, and I'm going to comment on this shit. Hi, this is Douglas C. Perry, editor-in-chief of IGN Xbox and 360, with a video review of Saints Row. Having seen the extraordinary success of the Grand Theft Auto series in the current... The first thing he mentions is Grand Theft Auto. I I, I don't know if this video is going to play because my, my computer is... Con I don't know if it's my computer or my internet or what, or it's just a screen recording thing that slowed my thing down. Because it was playing. <laughs> But all of a sudden now this shit wanna hit 240p and just be a fucking mess. Current generation. THQ and Volition decided to create their own game, Saints Row. This is an open design, 3D, third person perspective. Fuck it. I don't know if it's gonna be able to play. I'm just gonna read the comments. This shit's bugging. If I can even do that. But um Yeah man, this is how this is how we get to where we are now, man, because Volition was so damn insecure. Um, because it was already a small team to begin with. So when you had when you heckling a small team, what you think they gonna do? They gonna they gonna they gonna just fold. They gonna fold and then they gonna try to go off the walls and off the rails with they shit. The problem was they didn't have a plan. You can't just if you're gonna switch up your plan to do something different to dif differentiate yourself, you gotta have a plan. You can't just just be trying to mesh up a whole bunch of shit. Uh, to, like you know what I'm saying? Like they were trying to create something new, like it was the Powerpuff Girls. They just get to they just getting in the motherfucking uh <laughs> they getting in the motherfucking kitchen and they're just mixing a whole bunch of different shit. You know what I'm saying? Spice, sugar. You know, like, come on, bro. You know this shit not gonna mix and blend well in your games, and then you still trying to keep the gangster elements in your games, like in like in the third Saints Row. You got kind of a, like a mob mafia type vibe. It's not really so like you know hood down. Like it's not really like street anymore like that. But then you got shit like the uh, first of all the 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 penetrator was already in San San Andreas technically the dildo per weapon that was already in San Andreas so. Them trying to say, oh man, in Saints Row the Third, we differentiated ourselves, and the first two games was considered GTA clones. So we 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 stopped uh we stopped making games like that because they we was getting compared. So in Saints Row the Three, that's why we went crazy. Actually, no, y'all still taking shit from other games. <laughs> y'all just changed up how y'all like y'all just changed. I guess it's because GTA San Andreas is the most popular GTA. So when when like when you think of GTA, you just think of that one off rip. And when you think of that, you just think of gangster, you know, hood. So people just like could try to try to compare the first two games to that one particular GTA and call it a clone. But uh, like, man, that, other than that, bro. Nah, son, because y'all niggas was already taken from other shit. Even when y'all started making GTA three. Uh, So it's the people it's the people who's calling it GTA clones. And it's also Volition themselves who's fucking idiots. And the people trying to defend Saints Row the Third and, and Saints Row Four and get out of hell and, and and God forbid that new reboot, you know, it's really it's really they really not the same man. They really not the same and this whole shit, this whole fucking stupid ass, oh man, pitting putting pitting games up up against each other and trying to then down other ones and shit like that is the reason why we are right now motherfucker rockstar is not even doing nothing right now and volition is, is putting out trash whenever they can and and, and 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 trying to shit on the fans their loyal supporters that's why that's where we that's where we are where we um that's why we are right at where we're at now because it's a stupid not stupid ass man like i ain't even gonna lie g this whole the whole formula is fucked up, man. The whole formula. Nobody's doing this shit for the love anymore. It's all about, you know, it's just too fucking corporate. Console gaming is is corporate, bro. If you can't do nothing with the old games and 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 and, and, and do all that, you know what I'm saying? Beauty, you know, high definition shit yourself, remastering it yourself. It's it's over with, bro. It's over with. They not they not giving you nothing no more. Let me see if this shit will play now.
action game, and it plays, looks, and feels just like GTA. You hear that so shit? On the con side, the game's terribly unoriginal, and it copies GTA too. So on the on the con side, to an extent that it's some people won't get over it. I actually did because. On the con side, is is it copies GTA to the extent that people won't get over it. Oh man, bro, GTA. Let me tell you this, bro. GTA has GTA is was mainly got popular for his stories. Like the first, like we talk, when we talk about GTA, we talk about them three GTAs. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The PS2 era, GTA Three, Vice City, San Andreas. That's what I'm talking about. Um, they was mainly for their stories. You know, like. You sure you had like little things on the side to do like rampages and taxis, cab missions and, 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 and paramedic and all that. But that was never really that. That was some shit like if you was going for like 100 percent, you know, or you were just bored or if you just wanted to do something for like the extra abilities or whatever. You didn't really care about none of that, like. For the fun of it, or at least most people didn't that I, that I see playing that shit, because back then the motherfucking activities was frustrating as hell. Saints Row 2, I mean, Saints Row 1 made they brought in extra side shit and made it fun that's what saints row did that differ, differentiated itself from gta that's one of the things it did to uh differentiate itself it brought in the the shit outside of the main missions to to to, to make it more memorable and fun you know what i'm saying um because gta didn't have that shit man gta even the main missions in the early gta's was a fucking headache so but it was memorable for a story you know, Saints Row 1 and 2, I feel don't even, like, outside of the fan base, I feel don't get enough credit for the, its originality in the story either, man. Like, its story is fucking, some, it's, it's really real written, bro. It's really, the first two, they're really real written, you know, to the point where, and 4 and Get Out of Hell and all that, all them, the Saints Row titles down the line, they steady, they steady using and bringing up shit from Saints Row One and Two, even though they clear, they they claim not to care about them games no more because they know them games they hold weight with his writing. They know even all these years down the line when they try to move on from them first two, they know, oh man, that that's when y'all they was in their prime. They still trying to do it. They still trying to they still try to get the uh, you know. They try to ride off the, the first two games coattails, even though they they they'll never go back to it, you know. And and Saints Row Four, they they got, they bring in back Saints Row One and Two characters, gangs, you know. They bring him back um and, and get out of hell. You 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 uh you meeting Vogels in the game and shit like that. Carrying, I I haven't seen, I haven't played or seen. Like the whole game, like fully on through, because Get Out of Hell was just too. That was, like Saints Row Four, I could play. But Get Out of Hell, man, that's that's not even a game, dog. That's literally. <laughs> at least if in, in Four they tried to cover cover up the DLC as being his own game, and and Get Out of Hell they don't even try, bro. There's not even character customization in that game, man. Like, why can't you play with the boss and Johnny Gad? Why is it gotta be Kenzie? And you can't even change the out, oh, man. I, I I don't mean to make this a Get Out of Hell rant, but. Yeah, like even in them games, they bring in back Carlos and Lynn and cutscenes and shit like that, and they bring in back all the shit from the first two games, bro. Like, cause they know, they fucking know, man. They know, and that's why they tried to go for a hard reboot, so they wouldn't be tied to them first two anymore. Uh, too bad they flopped on that. We all saw how that went. So, yeah, man. Like, it just it it just goes to show you. Especially for a game like Saints Row, what another thing that Saints Row does that GTA didn't do is the is the continuity. You know, Saints Saints Row one through four, what well, get out of hell too, but I don't count that shit. Saints Row one through four is they're all connected. Sadly, because you know the the planet blowing up and all that, shit, it gets really stupid down the line. But they're all connected. GTA, I guess you could say it's connected too. But the protagonists, they, like they don't, other than like embarrassing them and killing them off they don't really they don't really pl play a part in any of the other games unless they're the ones that they're actually in the lead and you know you're not gonna see claude really doing anything major in san andreas but losing in the street race to cj you're not gonna see tommy Vassetti in any of the other gtas and and most of the characters you're not you like they just don't they just don't appear is that is that is their time to shine in that game and then it's over with it's out they out of there and Sa in Saints Row, everything's like you know intertwined. You could expect to see the same characters from two going into three, unless it's Dex, but we're not gonna talk about that.
But uh, and one going into two, you know. But that's in well, yeah. I ain't going. I I ain't gonna say that Saints Row does it like to the best of its ability with, as far as the writing. But that's what they do that GTA doesn't do. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm not gonna even say G, when GTA kind of does it that they do it right either because they just like to kill their motherfucking characters off over the stupidest thing later on down the line. That's what they like to do. Um, I ain't gonna say I'm not gonna act like like Saints Row is. They're both bad at like, like they're both bad at just like making decisions like that, just like killing characters off and 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 Brighton that's supposed to be shock factor, but it's really just stupid. Like like Johnny and uh both the Johnnies now that they both named fucking Johnny too. Ain't that a damn coincidence? They both ki they killed Johnny. They killed both the Johnnies off, and and it was mo it was meant to be shock, but it came off as fucking stupid. That's what they did. Wow, bro. I never even put that shit together till now, till this video. That's crazy. Um, Ruining past characterizations of characters. You know, Saints Row does shit like that. Shondi, um, the boss, uh, 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 Johnny, cause, cause, cause Gat, Gat becomes fucking, he just a flanderization in, in four and get out of hell. All of a sudden, he's this super hyped up, mega badass who can't be stopped, even though his ass, man, you already know it. If you if you played the games, man, all the all the motherfucking times he was mortally wounded, um, uh, and needed and needed and needed fucking help, but all of a sudden this nigga get, like it's it's, <laughs> I ain't even gonna get into that. I already got a video on that, but uh, yeah, man. So there's definitely a lot of difference since the differentiates differentiated itself from just being a, a regular. Like it's not it's not the same. Like I don't I can't even yeah it's not it it's not a clone, bro. This whole clone ain't a stupid. If you gonna call this a, a GTA clone, you got You gotta call Call of Duty a Medal of Honor clone. You know you gotta call really every FPS a Doom clone. Shit, if you really want to take it there, you know. What well, shit? I mean that whole thing in game and it's stupid, bro. Just fucking like a like a game for being different. Why? Who cares if it's a they, every everything does something different? Who who the fuck cares? Clone this, clone that. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? I I, I never got this fucking argument. That so that that's supposed to that's supposed to lower the game's fun. Some of the things you'll notice about the game that are problematic with it, uh, from the visual standpoint, the game's using a streaming engine like the other games. And streaming seems to have an, an, an inherent problem where there's an inevitably fade in and even pop in. Volitions minimize the fade in. Yeah, that's raw distance in that game wasn't that, in. that excellent. But because, but it's way better than what the fuck they had going on in Reboot, the, the Saints Row 22 Reboot, whatever the hell it had in that game. They actually improved on what he's talking about in Saints Row 2. They really get good in that. And then they dropped the ball with it again in the third. But I think they were just getting used to that new engine, even though I don't like that engine. But. Yeah, man, that 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 I, I've seen some gameplay of the of the reboot. It looked so fucking lazy. It looked like Fortnite, honestly. It looked like four bytes Fortnite. The little corny ass emotes, the silly ass takedowns and shit like that. I don't know. The 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 corny ass shit where you get headshots and then all that fucking fake ass looking blood pops out the head. <clears throat> Motherfuckers doing whole backflips off getting shot one time. Like man. <laughs> It's just, it's just, I don't know what the fuck is going on. No, no. The streaming technology, you're going to get it no matter what. And it's because it's, the, the this world is, is so big plan, bro. that some stuff just can't be processed and loaded in that fast. So you are going to see that. Additionally, from a graphic standpoint, there are texture seams, which, you know, show those little it's, white. It's, this fucking lines. video was low quality, but I will say that um, Saints Row 1 looked way better than San Andreas. And that game, there was only a two-year difference. And, and you know... If you don't know, originally the first thing in the row was supposed to come out on PS2. It was, it was supposed to be called Bling Bling, and, and it looks sort of like how a PS2 game would look, you know, true crime ish. But when it came out on 360, it just it shot past all that shit. It really shot past all that shit. The only thing San Andreas, I guess, has over uh, Saints Row, I guess, is pretty is probably probably the map. The map is just way more like in, in the first. Yeah, and San Andreas, the rap is, is the map is way more like 
kind of its own thing. I think Saints Row 2's map could kind of compete with San Andreas, but not the first one. They just needed a little bit more touched up to get the diversity and shit like that. But yeah, other than that, also in, in San Andreas, the gangs was like tied down to a little area of the map. And in Saints Row 1 and 2, and every Saints Row, fuck it, well, the first three, the gangs is the whole map. They they around the whole map, so that's another reason. Like you could just really see them motherfuckers everywhere. Yeah, you know, it's just this shit they talking about. It's just not. It's just not fucking accurate, bro. Clone my ass, and this is how we get get to where we are now, man. You know, now I didn't have a problem with them in Saints Row Three. I didn't have them have a. Uh, I didn't have a problem with them going like the like the uh, the suit and tie kind of like mafia looking route. Cause that's what obviously what the game was going for with Philippe Loren. It had the music, it had oh, it just started. It started off so strong in that game until you got to like uh, really after you took over the penthouse. After you took over the penthouse, man, and then you got to do all them activities, and then you just kill Loren after all them shits is done. That's when the game is it died from it for me. That's when it died. But uh, let's do this fucking juice and let's see what, what more he has to say between texture maps and um, screen tearing so you'll see the screen if you're moving left or right or up down really quickly you'll see this sort of I don't know what no, uh, no screen tearing or no shit like that he's talking about I play the game all the time the 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 lastly there's the humor Madre de Dios. the humor way better than the humor, what you have once now again, like so many aspects in Saints Row tries to replicate the humor in Grand Theft Auto Oh my and god, it makes this you realize obsessed with you know, fucking Dragon Grand Theft Auto. Do they have y'all on the fucking payroll, dog? You on them motherfuckers meat sack. All up down they length and shit. My nigga, you just cock guzzling. Oh, it's once again like Grand Theft Auto. Cascade all down your lips, dripping down your chin and shit. That fucking glazing off your lips, nigga. Good humor in a video game. Um, on top of that, you know, you, you, you've just got this whole vibe of this game. Where the vibe feels like it's trying so hard to be hip hop that it's almost you know, not hip hop. It's it's. I love when dudes that's so like obviously uncultured and shit like that talk try to talk about hip hop like they know what's really going on. Does this, this dude sound like he he he's obviously you know what I'm saying been around this shit from the beginning? Like oh yeah, it tries to sound so hip hop. Why wow, this dude probably got his polo tucked in his khakis and shit like that and pins all in his shirt pockets. You know what I'm saying? Like it's always the it's always the uh. Uh, and I don't mean to sound like like extra like condescending when I come off and say some shit like that, but it's always the uh, you you know the um the bifocal what's them glasses called <laughs> the, the 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 little the little uh I don't know what them shit's called. It's always them types that's always talking about hip hop and what is and what is real hip hop and and what is real you know trenches and all this shit. How the fuck you supposed to know, nigga? Why don't you just play the game and enjoy it? Stop trying to act like you just so in this shit the fuck out of here boy just develop these games or and or review these games and like come on man stop it dog stop it niggas listen to 150 cents on all of a sudden they so cultured i hate when motherfuckers talk like this you can just hear it in their voice they nod it they, they not like, this you, you want the things to flow you want the things to feel natural you want to feel like you're really in this world and i think volition sort of worked too hard to get this hip-hop worked right. too hard i've and never heard uh, no no criticism talking about you've worked too hard God, come on, bro. I mean, you try too hard? There is no such thing as working too hard, especially when it comes to games, man. The problem nowadays is motherfuckers don't work hard enough. That's how we end up what we have right now with motherfuckers like Eli and shit like that. Niggas ain't working. Talking about you worked too hard. You, you know what you had these niggas do, man? Fuck is wrong with you, boy? The audacity of this nigga talking about he, somebody worked too hard. Pro side. Saints Row does a lot of things just like Grand Theft Auto, and they do it well. And then there are some We're improvements. Talking about GTA. For instance, the map is very useful. It's excellent. You can toggle through oh, all the, the different Oh, the map is icons. useful. Oh, you don't say. And you'll know where you want to go. Like if you want to look at strongholds, you can just look those up, and the map's not cluttered. Or if you want to look up activities, you can look those up, and you don't have to see the other stuff that ruins the map. This is a good map. You have homies. These are guys that you earn. You can earn up to three homies. These are basically guys, NPCs that come with you. That's another thing that GTA did. I mean, that Saints Row did better than GTA is the homie system. The homies in San Andreas was fucking stupid. I ain't gonna lie. They was fucking retarded. They was retarded. Straight dumbass niggas, man. Them niggas was like... 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about if you played that game. Y'all know exactly what I mean. They'll come with you on foot, and they'll come with you in car, and they make a lot of missions a lot more fun. You can also revive them while you're playing. This is a good addition. Oh, yeah. System. Remember in Saints Row in Saints Row 1 and 2 when, when the, your homies died and you poured the 40 on them? You poured the little lick on them? <laughs> Pouring one out for the niggas, man. And then in 3, they took that shit away. What'd they do? You just pull them up now. Like, that shit was so fucking stupid, dog. It's just making the they just taking away all of the 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 little things the little details that just made the game exciting, bro. That's that's what it made. It. That's what it did, man. You take away the little shit, your whole game dies like slowly. You know, it's the little shit that just adds up. You take it all away, man. It's like killing somebody slowly, man. It's like like it's like shooting somebody in the foot and hitting a, a, one of them veins or something like that. You know. You know what I'm saying? Popping somebody in the leg or something like that. It hits one of them important as <laughs> important as arteries or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like just take away all this like little neat shit, man. And think we wouldn't notice. Blast makes it more fun to play. The way the game is structured is very interesting. Uh, it's very, very well done. It's very democratically done. So each time you go through a story mission. Uh, you can't just bust through the story mission. You actually have to go through and explore the world and go through these submissions called activities. By doing that, you earn the currency in the game called respect. And by earning respect, you're open, you're able to open up more missions. A lot of the people say that they had a problem with um the respects, like having to earn respect to play the missions in the game. I think these people just too. I think people were just too used to the GTA formula of just being able to play missions anytime they want. So it was kind of like, you know, I understand what they're getting at. I understand what they're talking about completely, but I, I I like how I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't necessarily call it patent, but I like how you could. It, it just forces you to it forces you to talk to because in Central one, especially the characters, there was a lot of characters in the side activities who, who actually come back. They not just one all characters. So it, it kind of like forces you to get to know the world or, or to explore the world more. And, and, and not just the gang shit. Like this dude was talking about how the gang they try too hard to be the hood. Like he knows what that what that what is that that's all about. But the activities and all that shit in, in the first Saints Row and in Saints Row 2, they actually like because you got you know what I'm saying, you got some in the suburbs, you got some in the factories, they actually get you out the hood element, you meeting all types of doing different people and shit like that. So it's not all just about the gang shit with the activities. In, in them two games, man. So, you know, unless you was doing the main missions, man, you you kind of like that's kind of like uh how in in San Andreas when CJ was doing all the shit in San Fierro and in Vegas, it ain't just about the hood shit. That's kind of like how the activities was in the first two Saints Rows, man. That's how I looked at them. So I, I I never really had a problem with. It. Plus, you get cool ass rewards for doing some of them. So I never had a problem with it, you know. But, you know, these motherfuckers want something to complain about. Just because they didn't start with... Just because you start with a game, you got to defend it to death. Even if it, it's it's down the line. You go down the line and it's less shit that the game has. And it's objectively not as a good game as the, as the previous ones. But you are. Oh, I got to defend this to the T because it was my first and nostalgia. Shut the fuck up, man. And Volition controls all of it so that each time you go through a story mode, you'll still have to go through and earn some respect. Play some of these other missions. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers really be talking like that on Reddit and all these other stupid ass forums talking awesome. Oh man, yeah, well, but I'm biased, so I don't care. I, I, like there was literally a post. I think I'm gonna show it in um, I'm gonna show it in one of my videos. Well, I made a post on Saints Row Three. Dude. Like it only had one good moment in the story. I felt like, and and I was literally, I was no matter what I was saying, I was bringing up good points and, and legitimate points and all that. Still getting downvoted, and somebody literally said. I'm going to fucking bring this shit up right now. Oh, God. Hold up. I got this shit right here. Somebody actually said this shit word for word. I'm not even bullshitting you. Uh, the entirety of Saints Row 3 is a masterpiece, and I refuse to listen to any valid criticism, especially after, especially after all the games that followed. Nigga, you the reason why all all the games that follow was shit, and that they, they got worse than Saints Row Three because you didn't want to listen to any valid cr criticism for that whack ass game either. Okay, 
<laughs> I I be trying to I be trying to talk to people and help. You know what I'm saying? Solutions and shit. And motherfucker just hard headed. You know. Go back to the story. Listen, that hard headed. The whole game, the whole physical sense of it, and you explore and you that actually shit, man. gunning down my the phone inside the city. Like, you know, insurance real. fraud and gunning down and, uh, drug real traffic, legitimate gang members, not the motherfuckers wearing the colors. Anyway, into a whole new territory. Volition has gone like online Spencer with reboot. co op and multiplayer. Like that, game. uh. And that's never been done before in this open like world. That, like that, uh, in the the GTA GTA frame. So, what we've got here are four modes of multiplayer online. Gangster brawl, dig ass guns, protect the pimp. And all the deckers have with some sexy ass bitches and roller skates. Like <laughs> I know they the sound funny. Gangster brawl is basically that's all the deckers have with some sexy dick bitches and roller skates. It's just fun. It's a button masher. It's good, but it doesn't last that long. It doesn't have as much. Depth. And the and the, and the, big the, ass the, chain the gravity hammers from Halo. That's me it. versus you versus everyone else. We're trying to collect chains and bring them to a spot and get as many chains as possible. That's also Got your you know, medium level depth. Then there's player. protect the pimp, which is my team versus your team, and I'm a, I'm on the pimp side and you're on the I'm on the pimp side. Protect I'm pimp the pimp side, and I'm trying to get my guy outside this building without getting him killed. I looked, I like, I like how no gun playing in the first thing is where they actually you go into hat. buildings you couldn't so it has go into offline. Basically, then there's blinged out rock. Yes, it they, sounds they, silly, but it's actually one, a very really fun game where you basically have to upgrade your car three times while the enemy does the same thing. Not have that car blown up and then reach a, a point at the end of the game before the other. All right, man. So, uh, the, just the fact all the times I'm just going to stop right there for the video, but all the times he just went through in the beginning of the video and just said GTA and didn't even let it be its own thing. That's why we are. That's one of the reasons why we're at where we're at right now, man. Just because it's a sandbox, it's GTA all of a sudden. Like, come on, bro. And all these motherfucker comments agree. So, the death of Saints Row happened. Uh, recently, actually last year. Um, one of my favorite gaming franchises died. I've been playing Saints Row since I was in fourth grade. And it's over with. Um, what can I say about this shit, man? This is a lesson in business, dog. A lesson in business. Um, all the people that Volition let after they they uh THQ went bankrupt, however the hell that happened after they um after they they got into with into it with Deep Silver and Coach Media and all these other people just. They're not even in control of their own product on, anymore, man. That's pretty much letting you know, man. No matter, how, like, I, I think they did it just to save themselves, but you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? Because right now, after they put out that Fortnite fucking game, they pretty much back to square one, man. Or not even square one. They back to being in danger. Just how, like how they was when THQ got out of there. They back to being in the same danger with all them companies backing them and shit like that. And they can't even make their own decisions. So, you really got to ask yourself. I don't know why. Can't can Volition just go independent? Don't company, doesn't it work like that? I don't know. We'll never know. I, I guess the under, independent gaming companies doesn't don't exist anymore. I, it's just the same way when, when Mortal Kombat, when Midway left... um left and then and then they and then they went bankrupt and then uh mortal kombat they started doing nether realm studios and the games got worse from there it's just, just it's just like that it's just like that and it ain't nothing like, it ain't nothing different it's just like that man all the fucking the passion is gone in these new these new companies man they don't care about they in the gaming was popular nowadays is them corny ass uh and i was watching a video i was talking about this um I forgot his channel. I, I was it's hexagon something, but um he was he was basically breaking it down like um uh he basically said like the um the the companies what am I fucking trying to say that they, they don't make anything like like original no more. They make like what's popular. So Fortnite and all that that's what's getting the most numbers. So they're not trying to do, they're not trying to take chances or take any, like, meaningful risks anymore or do what we ask. But we know they should go back to. They don't do that anymore. They're obviously trying to pander 
to a specific audience group um like little kids but the problem is you can't fortnite don't got like violence like saints row has like if you gonna make a game like that you got to change the name and your saints row reboot you can still blow people's heads off and do all types of violent ass take like takedown moves and so who was this game who was that game really for you know is it supposed to be violent for us still or is it supposed to be for little kids tailored to the towards the fortnite crowd if it's tailored towards the fortnite crowd them parents is not gonna let them play that game over fortnite you know what I'm saying? Especially with Fortnite putting out all them fucking costume packs and shit they always put out. Every time I get on the advertisement, these niggas got a new character to play with. Black Panther. My hero. Shit. <laughs> y'all niggas not compete with Fortnite. Felicia, you might as well give it the fuck up, man. Y'all y'all should have did y'all own thing, bro. Y'all thought y'all could compete with... You had a better chance with Rockstar, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Com especially considering where they're at right now than trying to get money off pandering your shit like Fortnite. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just fucked up. Y'all fucked up bad. Like y'all, y'all fucked up. I ain't gonna hold you. You f like that? That I'm talking about. Like I'm talking about. Like fourth quarter. Ten seconds left on the buzzer beater. Wide open layup to win the game. Turnover. Ball out of bounds. That's how bad y'all fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. So, <laughs> anyways, man. This was the Get Back Raw Three Times Active Game Blur 2K Game Rusky, all that good shit, man. Go hard to go home, man. I'm gonna catch y'all later on the next video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. If y'all fucked with my opinion on this, if y'all fucked with the stupid ass IGN video that's still up, man. They they still think this shit has a good reason to be up. IGN is they they fucking retard. I, I'm curious to see how this video is, this this reboot for when they talk about this sense, bro. I want to see that after I get off this video. But um, yeah, man, I'm I'm out of here, man. I'll catch y'all later on the next uh. One of my next videos, man. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm